millions of students are getting back into the swing of things as they return to the classroom this fall. Many schools are looking for innovative ways to prepare them for the future. This week I headed to Ann Chestnut Middle School in Fayetteville where faculty is focused on the big picture, how their kids will fit in and stand out in our global economy. They're using foreign languages to bridge the gap. Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Hamed's 6th, 7th, and 8th graders don't say hello in English, but in Arabic. And Ms. Chen's students are learning to count in Chinese. Fayetteville's Ann Chestnut Middle School is one of about a dozen North Carolina schools using several federal grants and programs to teach some of the fastest growing languages. Students are taught by native born speakers, like Mr. Hamed, who is Egyptian, and Ms. Chen, who is Chinese. Once they get to middle school, they, I think we have an opportunity to expose them to more languages, and it's critical that these students be exposed to these languages because it, it prepares them for life. What word is this? These teachers say learning a new language does take time and practice, plus patience. It didn't take long before mine was tested. Say hello to our new student. What's your name? Fear Shell. Mr. Hamed uses repetition with me just like he does with his students. It's key to learning how to have an everyday conversation in a foreign language. Egypt, where are you from? Philadelphia. Anna, from Philadelphia. Anna, I'm in Philadelphia. Anna, I'm in Miss. Anna, I'm in Miss. Anna, I'm in Miss. Anna, I'm in Miss Philadelphia. It's me, Wael. It's me, Bear Shell. Thank you. These students are way more advanced than me and oftentimes have an advantage their youth. At the early ages, they can learn anything, even if you can give them seven languages, they can get it. A UCLA neurology professor found that as a child, part of the brain is responsible for unconsciously picking up languages. That often makes it easier to learn a language at a very young age, and the sooner, the better. The Pew Research Center found that Europe is taking note of this. Most European students start learning at least one foreign language between six and nine years old. And Chestnut Middle School wants to give their kids that same head start in this competitive global market. Experiences and education that they can use for a lifetime. And the principal for the year-round school says she does hope more schools will follow suit and expand their foreign language departments. And I can tell you, it's such a great time being in those classrooms. And I appreciate them taking the time to teach me just a little bit of something. Yeah, about. well, they're starting early, mm -hmm. but there may still be some time for you. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> you were, you were doing I, pretty I'm well. trying to think if I can remember some of the things they taught me. And right now, it's not coming to mind. I'll so hope you we'll practice see. during the commercial break. <laughs>